Don't you just love it when your child tells you that they want to read a book? When children read, it improves their imagination and concentration, which helps them think differently. If you leave your children by themselves, would they be reading? Or would they just continue scrolling on their devices? It's a question worth asking when it comes to what's best for your children. Reading brings a ton of benefits that they will reap even later on in their lives. With that being said, we'll dive deeper into how to encourage your children to read without forcing them to do it. Before that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more parenting videos like this. Reading exposes your children to new knowledge and experiences as part of their learning process. They can experience different cultures and learn about different parts of the world, which they couldn't otherwise without traveling there. It also expands their vocabulary and grammar, which is always useful at school. Reading is the doorway to unlimited inspiration and knowledge for your children. But here comes the big problem. Children nowadays rarely pick up a book to read. One of the reasons for that is because children just don't see the importance of reading. Plus, reading feels like a chore compared to playing on their devices. Children who have not experienced the magical moments of being enthralled by a story will always say, reading is not fun. If your children are not interested in a particular book, they will never lay a finger on it. That's why there's no one size fits all when it comes to books. That's why books have genres. Children don't actually find all books boring. They just haven't found the right genre that's for them. Another reason why children dislike reading is that it makes them feel overwhelmed. They are not used to reading a long page containing only words. Pages full of words take too much effort, which therefore turns them off from reading. Your children's peers can also affect their reading. They might choose to read books simply because their friends or peers are reading those books. But it doesn't always mean that they will also be interested in those particular books. This further demoralizes them and makes reading even less fun. When it comes to books, did you know that the formatting also plays an important role in encouraging your children to read? Younger children don't tend to prefer text-heavy books, while illustration books could be a turnoff for teenagers because they're meant for little kids. In fact, every child will have their own taste when it comes to the types of books they prefer reading, even if they're of the same age group. Most parents are also not aware that some children struggle with basic reading skills. There are certain conditions that may make reading difficult, such as dyslexia. Could this be one of the reasons why a child might not love reading? If you suspect that it might be so, make sure to consult with a professional so that you can understand your child better. The list goes on and on as to why kids might not like reading, but let's move on to the main crux of this video. And that's exploring ways you can encourage your children to read without forcing them to do it. Firstly, setting a good role model can help a lot in cultivating a reading habit in your children. Children always look up to and model their parents, even subconsciously. If you want your children to pick up a reading habit, you should probably start picking up books too, so that they can see you doing it and recognize that it's something worth doing. Another cool thing you can do is to create a dedicated reading space for your children. Fill this space with their favorite books and set up an ideal reading environment with comfortable chairs and tables in whatever manner they like to read in. Whenever your children feel like reading a book, they can visit this space and indulge themselves in stories. You can also take the time to bring your children to visit the local library. There are tons of books available at the library that your children can choose from. Make sure each child has their own library card so they feel like special VIPs and able to borrow the specific books that they like and not have to read what their siblings have chosen. If you make library visits a habit, this repeated exposure to books will naturally help them pick up a reading habit eventually. 
reading should be made a free time activity for your children instead of just letting them play on their devices. You can try switching rewards for good behavior or for finishing a task from screen time to reading time with them. Spending time reading interesting stories together will encourage more reading and deepen your bond with them at the same time. You can also encourage your children to read books before watching the movie version of those books. Many movies are based on novels. Movie makers and directors love to bring such fantasies and stories to the big screen. For children who are reluctant to read, this tip can be a good motivator. It will be a huge incentive and reward to see what they've only seen in their imagination when reading the book come to life on the screen. Your children can also form a book club or join one at school. Reading can be a social activity where thoughts and experiences are shared with friends and family. This will enhance their reading experience and make it much more enjoyable. Giving books as presents to your children also has the potential to make them fall in love with reading. Children always appreciate presents, so cultivate in them the love of receiving books as presents. This will get them excited to receive books and start reading right away. Don't forget too that children find reading easier when they read books that are suitable for them. Your children should be reading books that are written specifically for their age level. It will help them digest information faster and make reading less boring. Trying to read a book that is too difficult for their age level can be too frustrating and demoralizing making reading feel like a tedious chore, or worse, like more homework. You can also introduce your children to their favorite authors and celebrate the author's successes. With great books comes favorite authors. Children will sometimes look up to these authors and be happy to read their other work. It's good to have children looking up to authors whose work they resonate with deeply. Last but not least, you can always read bedtime stories together with your children, especially when they're younger. Bedtime stories are a great bedtime routine for your children. Not only do bedtime stories prepare them for bed, they also cultivate reading as a wonderful habit. Reading brings tons of benefits to your children. Beyond imagination and knowledge, reading also helps them in cognitive development as well as character growth. It's highly recommended to introduce them to reading from a young age so they'll grow up well read. We have reached the end of this video. How do you encourage your children to read? What are some books that they love to read? Share your tips and tricks in the comments section below. Please also share this video with your other parent friends and family, so they can also help their children pick up the wonderful habit of reading.